Hey guys, Phantom Z1018 here with another video to get another um thoughts video. Uh, the recently revealed Ultraman Trigger. Now, what I think about the Ultraman Trigger? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what Trigger has like you know, like for us to see in the future. But, well, today I'm gonna show you guys like you know the three Trigger forms, the gimmick of this Ultraman, and the human host himself. So yeah guys, uh, before we take a look, before we talk about this video, or we talk about this Ultra, be sure to hit that smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Ultraman content on the way, and be sure to check out my other videos as well. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Now, um, I thought the whole Ultraman trigger thing was gonna be like a fake news, because it sounds a lot like Tree Gear, and I don't think they would like name another Ultra after another Ultra that was already used. But I guess I was wrong. So anyways, let's get on with the video. Now let's get on with the first picture right here. We have the official look of Ultraman Trigger in his um, base form or regular form, multi-type mode. Apparently all these forms are based on Ultraman Tiga, you know, the power type, sky type. Uh, I kind of find that to be a little lazy or lackluster. is because they could have come up with something a bit more better than just reusing the names. But, uh, it might grow on me later on, but we'll see. So yeah, I really like the the, the golden design of Trigger, uh, Triggered. I mean, Trigger, Trigger, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Um, I like the, the, the gold parts on Trigger. I really like all the detailings and, um, cyber, cyber-like details on the gold parts. I really like gold. And, uh, yeah, um, the, what it, what he's holding seems to be, like, some type of sword. Uh, sister thing, uh, not sister, uh, scissor thing, or I don't know what it is, but we'll get, we'll get a better look of it in the other pictures. So, yeah, the coloring looks really good. Very reminiscent of Ultraman Tiga. Now, looking at the other picture right here, we have Ultraman Trigger doing um, in his other form, in his power mode or power type mode. Now, we have a better look of the scissor thing that I was explaining. Um, it looks nice. <laughs> you know what it really reminds me of? It really reminds me of the circle with the cross thing in it, like um, like no drinking, no um, uh, drinking or no walking in the hallways or something like that or running. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that. It looks like a symbol of no, like don't do it. So yeah, guys. Um, the the red the power time mode looks kind of looks like the same, but uh, at first glance, kind of looks like the same thing. So, I'm pretty sure he's gonna do exactly what Ultraman Tiga did, which is like recoloring um, the body to like, you know, give it some type of elemental power, which I understand a lot. It's like Ultraman Tiga, but uh, I would like some, you know, different, different like, you know, parts in the body. But at least he removed some gold bits on the body. Now, taking a look at another image right here, we have Ultraman t uh, Trigger um, using his, um, some type of the bone arrow thing. I don't know. Uh, I really like the how the thing can shift into a sword, scissor thing, or in bone arrow. I really like that. That's really cool. So yeah, uh, the sky type looks a lot different from the other forms because we have the extra blue parts on them, and um, purple and silver, um, yeah, color on the body. I really, I kind of really like the sky type more than the other two forms, to be honest, because I really like how it looks so like you know. It has like a bit of different parts and added designs to it. So yeah. Anyways, um, the sky type, yeah, it's very reminiscent of Ultraman Tiga. And yeah. And uh, the, again, the bow and arrow thing seems kind of interesting to see like um, a weapon that can shift into other weapons. That's what I like about it. And the colors, yeah, it looks good. It looks different because of course, you know, it's kind of like Ultraman Tiga. So yeah. That's pretty much what I have to say about this form. It's not that much, but at least I actually liked it more than the other forms. Now here we have the first image here of Ultraman Trigger's host, or human host, or form, I'm not sure. But yeah, he looks really nice. I can't wait to see him in action of Ultraman Trigger, or what, like, you know, what uh, we're gonna see from him. I can't wait to see him. So yeah, uh, the transformation device looks really nice. Apparently you can shift into a gun, or something like that. Eh, uh, kind of funny because he's gonna pull some trigger, pull the trigger with that gun. Yeah. anyways. Uh, I like how, like, it shifts into, um, a transformation device that looks really similar to the Tiga, um, transformation device. So, yeah. 
And uh, yeah, um, I really like the, the 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 jacket or the sweater he has, or I don't know what that is. But I really like the looks of it. Kind of reminds me of Guts, kind of. Not that much, to be honest, but I'm not sure, to be honest. It's been a while since I've seen it. But yeah, I really like this jacket look and the human host look. And here we have the Ultraman gimmick of 2021. And from the past gimmicks, we have uh, Spartals from Ginga, X uh, cards from Ultraman X, Fusion cards from Ultraman Orb, uh, Capsules from Ultraman Jeed, Crystals from Ultraman RB, Taiga with the bracelets, and now Ultraman Z with the uh, Z medals. And now we have. F f what is that? Flash drives or flash cards or. Uh, what's that? USB? Or something for computers? I don't know. This idea was kind of odd at first. Uh, I was like, uh, no, just no. But it might grow on me later on with a series. Uh, if I grab some, if I pick up some, and like you know, you know, play with it and see how they are. Hopefully, they do a lot of like interesting sounds on the trigger riser thing. I don't know. But I really hope they do interesting sounds on like the RB crystals. So yeah, I really hope the, these toys will be good. And yeah, the idea of flash drives or flash, like, you know, USB for Ultraman devices, really odd, but at least this is very new, considering we got so many cards, medals, and, like, figures and stuff like that. So, yeah, I really like the idea overall. I changed my mind. I'd like to see some new, interesting things within the Ultraman universe. I wouldn't be surprised if they give an Ultraman trigger a gun to, like, you know, shoot some kaijus down and stuff like that. So yeah guys, that's my thoughts and overall like on the recently revealed Ultraman Trigger like trailers and the photos we've seen so far. I know there have been toys that have been seen or released or revealed, uh, but I will do a separate video on that. So this video has gone a bit long enough. So uh, yeah. Anyways guys, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, be sure to like, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see new Ultraman content on the way. Be sure to check out my other videos if you want to be interested in staying in tune to my channel because I got a lot more Ultraman videos coming. So yeah guys, uh, I really like Ultraman Trigger. I can't wait to see him in action in the series and I can't wait to like you know have his figure in my collection. So yeah guys, I uh, hope you guys like this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well.